Hi, my love, beautiful souls of Mystic World 1111. I'm back with two bringing dark into the light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Put your name on the screen. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of something different. I'm going to show you guys a couple things and I'll do a reading. Um, I want to show you guys the new things. So, I made more throat chakra spray. I kind of um, reamped it, okay, um, from the different throat chakra spray. And the reason I made more is I ran out and I know when I'm communicating, sometimes I start getting like, I'm not able to communicate a cough, a sore throat or something like that, or my mouth turns dry. And so like that, or someone's trying to block my throat chakra, okay, to communicate as well. And so I made um, new sprays. Uh, I did make a little bit different scent. Uh, there's two different kinds here. This is, so this was supposed to be a throat spot chakra spray, guys. This is my newest one. This was a cinnamon, okay. Cinnamon's really good for your throat chakra. But I want to, I will have it on the sticker or on the label. It will be on the label and in the description that if you're very sensitive to cinnamon, do not spray this directly on your skin on this one, okay. Um, I did not know that. Like, when I did my research about um, throat chakra and, like, what's really good to clear out your throat chakra is cinnamon and uh, cinnamon essential oil, stuff like that. But when I tried, you know, or don't put a lot. Okay, so when I was testing, because I test them, you guys, I'd make sure. If you guys get them ever and you're like, okay, well, I do her spray. The, it looks like it used. You guys, I check every bottle. So, I'm going to tell you every bottle I do end up spraying at least once to see the nozzle works. Because some of these nozzles don't want to work. Okay? And so, yesterday... Um, when I was doing this, I sprayed a lot of cinnamon. Um, all these ones, these ones are the cinnamon ones, okay, for the throat chakra. But, um, this can be more of a, like a room mist, um, to clear out the air and stuff. But if you're very sensitive to cinnamon, this one, I'm just giving you a warning label, caution label, whatever. Um, this, if you spray too much on your direct, like, because it does have a scent, or cinnamon essential oils in it. And it has, which way, hazel, and it has, um, distilled water, okay. Uh, which is, um, diluted, Okay. But if you, like this, it doesn't bother your skin, okay? It doesn't do that. But when you literally, I guess I could show you guys too my, okay. So, I'm on my phone. So this one, um, I made this for the throat chakra, okay? And when you read about throat chakra, it's all this. And my other ones, I could spray on here and not have a problem. But yesterday when I sprayed all these bottles, I was spraying them on here like this. Like this, and I sprayed, I probably sprayed like 20 sprays here, okay? To see how it feels. It cleared out my throat. It cleared it out. But I ended up getting a warm, tingly feeling, a little bit red. Cinnamon can give you a little bit of a um, irritation, okay? If you have some sense. Mommy, look! Yes, it's cute. I'm a puppy! You look cute, yes. I'm a puppy! Yes, you look like puppy, okay? Shut me over. Um, earlier when I tried it, I only sprayed two sprays. I didn't have any reaction to it. But literally, I had like 15, 20 sprays yesterday. Um, I had a little bit... Um, reaction so this is going to be my shop but i'm going to have it on their label as like you know one spray that's it or room spray okay cinnamon room spray all of your room okay will clear up energy or if you just like your room smelling cinnamon this is really good for cinnamon okay it was supposed to be made for directly for the throat chakra but uh i just want to say that okay that it can be a little bit sensitive here, okay? Like, right now, I'm not having any reaction or anything like that. My daughter didn't. Carmelita, she didn't have any reaction or anything at all. She did say that uh, it uh, it felt like a little tingle for a second. Like, because I sprayed a lot on her neck, too, to see. But it didn't turn red. It didn't, any of that stuff. Because you want to try this stuff out. So, um, I just want to put that out there. So, if you do get my throat chakra and the one with cinnamon, make sure you don't spray so much on your skin. Um, if you have very sensitive skin, okay? If you don't, um, you can also test it, okay? Also test it, just maybe test it on your arm and stuff. Um, or just test it in your room, okay? Or spray it in your room. It smells wonderful, okay? This smells wonderful. If you love the smell of cinnamon, if you love the smell of cinnamon, wonderful. Love wonderful. Like, it, it's, it's strong. It smells good. It's beautiful, okay? Um, a little bit blue, okay? Um, then I got, they almost look like they're similar, but they're not, okay? Why is my, I will be doing a message, guys. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to stay. Like, what the hell's going on? Oh. I don't know. It's not the best, like, normally, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Um, so my phone's on the other. So these are the ones right here. I'm going to put this aside here. I kind of just want to show you guys that. So, um, I know people have requested my throat chakra spray because it really looks good. Um, cleared out. Uh, the other one, I don't, honestly, my first time when I made the, uh, throw chakra, I don't remember what essential oils I put in it, and so I wasn't able to really make it, but the closest enough one I got was this one. This one, um, does not have no cinnamon in it, okay? You can put this all over your skin. Like I said, I do spray them all to see if this, they spray out, okay? 
Oh, and they have, you guys, in each of these bottles, they do have quart, clear quartz, uh, labradorite, and blue uh, lapazuli, okay? Blue lapazuli, quartz, and labradorite is really good for your throat chakra, opening it up, okay? Communicating, um, unblocking it, okay? This is a little bit bluer, different blue, but this one, um, instead of having the cinnamon, this has bergamot, frankenstein, and tea tree, which smells wonderful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. If you like a little bit limey smell and stuff like that, um, that's what it kind of smells like. Uh, the bergamot smells so good in it. And this, again, is for your throat chakra as well. I will be getting labels on there. Um, they'll be in my shop. And also, I put them in my uh, spiritual box. So right now, okay, I'm going to go back to this watch. I don't know if it's red, but I do feel a little bit warm from the cinnamon. And I did research, and that's why I did, like, a little bit red. My husband told me that cinnamon can be a little bit um, sensitive, so I would do more research. And if, like, it says you can put essential oil uh, cinnamon on your skin, but it can feel like it burns or irritated if you have sensitive skin. So, you can see, like... Okay, so... I'm, and I'm going to put that down on the label. Do not put on skin for sensitive... Or if you have sensitive skin, do not put on skin, okay? Spray around your room, okay, for the cinnamon one. But it does clear your throat. throat. I, I do guys say, um, damn it. When I used the cinnamon last night, it cleared up my, my chakra. Very well. So, I was like, wow. Really, really surprised how well it cleared it out. Um, it kind of, if you ever went tanning, if you're a female, and you ever went tanning and you put that tingling um, tanning lotion on, that's what it feels like. Or if you had too much niacin, um, I one time I took niacin uh, for a weight loss to try it, and I got the high dose, and I was like literally on fire, burning, kind of like that a little bit, just a little tingle. Um, so it depends on like that. So like, um, uh, yeah, if you have like that tingling sensation or whatever, that's kind of what it feels like. But I just want to put that out there. I did make more. Um, the, the reason the blue is you when you you want to wear the color blue, like today I have the color blue on bluish green, um, for throat chakra. Okay, so something about communicating. Okay, that could be too with you is maybe you're getting ready to communicate something. Maybe somebody's getting ready to communicate something with you. Um, somebody could have been doing throat chakra um, blockages on, on you as well. You know, one thing I learned too about throat chakra, you guys, is people don't think that the th people, okay, people think that the throat chakra is unblocked when they don't say anything, okay? No, when you are, when you are in a conversation with somebody or you're hearing something that go going on that is not nice and kind and like gossiping drama and you don't stand up for yourself and you don't put the or you don't say something like you know uh some people say you shouldn't say anything if you don't know what you're talking about but if you don't if you know something's going on and like you don't stand up and say something that means that your throat chakra is blocked okay where you're quiet and you kind of just stand back and stuff like that um you may be some people you some i'm hearing some of you guys may be observing the situation but a lot of times I'm getting, like, the feeling of, like, what I used to be like um, when I'd be in a group setting or I'd be around people, like, friends and stuff, supposedly friends. And they would start talking and gossiping and I wouldn't say anything. I would just go along with it. That was because my throat chakra was blocked, okay? So if you're sitting around a group of people, church, school, work, um, in the community, a party, a celebration, whatever, and there's a whole bunch of people talking about stuff that they shouldn't be talking about or gossip with somebody else or talking shit about somebody else and you don't stand up and say something um you most likely have your throat chakra blocked and so you need to unblock that okay it's about expression it's about truth it's about communicating okay and speaking one's truth as well so okay so yeah some of that just I'm, I'm hearing communication 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 here let's see what about these cards You could have been very, and that could have been too, like, you could have been afraid to communicate in the past because of the fact that, like, um, you were shut down as a child, okay? That you were shushed. You were, like, shunned. Like, not shushed, or sh you could have been shunned too, but you were shushed. You're, like, don't, you, your family said, you don't speak up. You don't talk. We don't want to hear it. You know, and that could be why too. Okay, so that's something you have to heal. You could be just getting really sick of people talking shit as well, okay? And you're finally standing up because this is Seven Swords. You're sick of this, uh... Secret agenda, gossiping, drama, conflict. You're, you're sick of this, okay? People going behind people's backs, talking behind someone's back. You're over this stuff, okay? Backstabbing. So it's like a hidden agenda, secret agenda. Trying to, or maybe you could be trying to run away from the situation too, okay? Just like trying to run away from it. Getting away. Yeah, because there's been a lot of secrets. Somebody's keeping too many secrets. 
and I need to speak up. Secrets really, what's, what's the word? Secrets can kill relationships, okay? Can damage relationships. Okay, so that could be something too. Maybe you're just sick of that because uh, all the secrets that were growing up and around people, it damaged relationships with you, okay? Or you could be the one that's keeping secrets and you're the one that's keeping secrets that's damaging all your relationships. I am getting somebody, there's a karmic out here and maybe that's why you need some throat chakra spray because you need to actually uh, speak the truth and stop lying. Somebody needs to stop lying and tell the truth because all the lies that you're telling is damaging relationships and damaging people around you. It's hurting you, it's hurting people that you care about, you supposedly care about. Something's hidden deep underneath too in the subconscious. Okay, so we have a Queen of Swords here coming out, a King of Pentacles, and Nine of Wands. Yeah, so you need to speak your truth. Time is standing your power. Queen of Swords can be a little bit cold-hearted too. Direct, direct, okay? And then the King of Pentacles is a provider, a father. So maybe there's a Queen of uh, Queen of Swords that's actually telling this King of Pentacles what she wants from a relationship or what she wants in something, okay? Or just needing to tell somebody something. This King of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands is getting out. Defending yourself, okay? It's also defending, defending yourself, okay? Defending your belief system. It's also putting up a fence, a wall. Somebody's not able to make anything or make any moves. Because they're blind, blocked. Okay. Can't see something here. Too many burdens. Not following their intuition. Not able to make something happen here. There's third party interference as well. Somebody needs to come in and communicate something fast, okay? Something fast. Or some kind of communication coming in fast. I also have blue lapisuli in my shop too. A chakra bracelet, you guys, for your throat chakra. So you may need to get that. Somebody needs some blue lapisuli, clear quartz, labradite. Okay, somebody needs crystals for the throat chakra. Boundaries, putting boundaries up, okay, that's too, okay, with this hidden agenda, boundaries, okay, throat chakra, okay, that's also true, is putting boundaries up, creating boundaries and keeping them, okay? Okay, so make me having, like, ear, nose, uh, ear, nose, throat problems, that if you're having ear, nose, throat problems, uh, sinus infections, throat problems, um, ear infections, that is all, uh, related to your throat chakra, okay, so your throat chakra is blocked, okay? Mouth problems, it's, it's blocked, Somebody has a lot to say. A lot to say, they just don't say it. And that's why you need that to clear your throat chakra. Okay, you have a lot to say. You can be very sensitive too. So we got, you know, direct, but then it can be sensitive. Okay, depressed. Dealing with psychic vampires, energy vampires. Time to let go and move in a different direction. Yep. Time to move in a different direction and then moving on. Someone needs to plant seeds elsewhere with the Seven of uh, Pentacles as well. They need to plant seeds elsewhere. Okay? They need to plant seeds elsewhere. Because there's something deeper for them, okay? Something bigger for them. I'm also hearing love thyself.
So I'm going to send an evil eye. I just heard the name Cassie. Cassie could be sending evil eye or your name could be Cassie. Somebody could be sending uh, evil eye Cassie. Some of you are confused too or taking a moment to kind of decide, okay, this this um indecisive because I'm gonna take a moment to, I'm indecisive what cards to use right now. For some reason I'm indecisive what cards to use. Emotions coming and going. There's a divine intervention here. Somebody's about to confess something. Like I said, somebody's about to confess something. Somebody's about to tell a deep dark secret. They're panicked, scared, afraid. It's gonna come out. Or somebody's afraid that somebody's about to confess. Okay, that some of these secrets are about to come out. They don't want the secret to come out. And we have people panicking. Okay. Signs, synchronicities, messages, numbers. Coming out here. Somebody could be confessing about some kind of obsession. Must indulge. Addiction. Confessing to their family or about their family. Blood ties in her circle. I just heard somebody's about to confess everything to you. Everything to you. Everything. And you have another person that could be interfering, that's panicking, scared, uh, having anxiety because all this shit's coming, about to come out about everything. You're going to know the truth about everything. Everything. They can be telling you an email, a letter, a text, or in person. It's already been, you've already heard this tele telepathically, okay? It's been telepathically. You're in your north node, cosmic, okay, celestial being, purpose. Someone's coming forward and telling somebody that's in their north node, okay? Then their purpose, the truth about everything, everything that's going on in their life and around the world, in their community, what happened in the past, whatever it is. Yeah, okay, so there's somebody that's coming forward from the south, their south node um, to somebody that's in their north node, okay? Their purpose. Um, somebody's clinging from the south node, too. Because there's been confusion, illusion. Message. Wow. I said messages. You could be getting this in your dream state too. Seeing this in your dream state. But it's going to it's gonna come into um 3D, okay? I'm hearing right now, you guys are saying, well, you keep saying that, the other readers keep saying that. When's it going to happen? I heard that one year ago, two years ago, three weeks ago. I've heard it several different messages and they haven't done it yet. <laughs> because you don't believe. Okay? When you truly believe and you truly trust the divine and you really want somebody to come tell the truth and speak the truth, just trust. Okay? Trust. Let it go, surrender, move on, do your own thing. And when you least expect it, somebody's gonna come about to somebody will confess or somebody's gonna come to you about something and you're gonna find everything out. Okay? But when you keep doubting it and keep saying, Oh, it's never gonna happen, oh, it's never gonna happen, it's never gonna happen. You readers just keep saying that, you guys are just talking out your ass. They're too chicken shit. That's why. That's why it's not happening. That's how I'm dead serious, hundred percent. I promise you, that's why it's not happening. Because when you doubt, things don't come into fruition. When you doubt God, the universe, your higher self, it doesn't it doesn't come into fruition. Somebody's trying to avoid something, okay? Avoid some avoiding something. Avoiding the truth. Wow, I said truth expression. Right there. Just trust. It may not be today. So I may have something to talk to you about the nightlife as well. Gambling, taking risks. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next week. It may not happen next month. It may not happen for another six months. You know? But it, it will happen. Because you're manifesting it. You're, you're, you're manifesting. 
But to manifest, if you want to manifest any manifest things, you guys, you have okay. So for prayers to be answered, you need to trust God, okay? You need to put your faith in God. Okay? And you don't have to have a lot of faith, you just have to have a little bit of faith in God. For a manifestation, you have to truly trust God, the universe, your higher self, and like truly, truly have a lot of faith, okay? Like it's it's like amplified more okay because you're manifesting your reality you're manifesting something so you have to you have to truly believe that you're able to make anything happen if it's from somebody to speak the truth if it's from somebody you know uh having a house car whatever it is uh getting a job you have to believe that you already have manifesting too is you have to believe you already have it so if you're manifesting someone to tell the truth you have to believe that you already know the truth that it's already came forward i hope that makes sense and also use thank you be grateful. Have gratitude. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to know the truth. See, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to know the truth. Not, Lord, please let me know the truth. Because when you say, Lord, please let me know the truth, that's you doubting. That's you asking. Instead of saying, Lord, thank you for allowing me to know the truth. It's already in the work works. It's already happening. Because you're telling God already thank you for already telling you the truth. Showing you the truth. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Not, Lord, can you heal me? When you say, Lord, can you heal me? It's asking him, thank you, Lord, for healing me. It's you already believe that the Lord has already healed you. Is going to heal you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have the house that I dream of. Or you can also say it this way. I have a four bedroom, two bath, car garage, or one stall car garage. I have. When you want manifest things to, you already have to say, I have. Because you already have it, okay? Not, I want or I need. When you use, I want, I need, it doesn't come. It does not come in fruition, okay? I, I, I'm just telling you, learn this. That's from my experiences, okay? That's from my experiences. When I started manifesting and I started saying, I already have, I have, when, when I need an apartment, okay, I have a two-bedroom apartment in my price range. I'm not going to say my price range right now, you guys, but I have a two-bedroom apartment where I love this apartment. I actually love it. It's a little bit small now with all of us in it, but I actually love it. It's really cheap rent, okay? I don't want to knock on wood because I don't want to jinx that shit, um, but I believe I already had it. That's what I have. I already believed it, so you have to believe it, okay? Okay, I actually have to end this, so. I'm gonna do, but we're gonna use Oracle. Okay, so, again, somebody's about to reveal something. I might pull a card out later, too, okay? Um, or do a part two later, but right now, I have guessed. Okay, let's close this out. So, yes, yeah, somebody's about to reveal something and tell you tell you the whole truth, nothing but the truth, okay? Everything, all details. Somebody's ready to tell you the truth, all details, okay? You're gonna get some heavy, heavy, you're gonna get some heavy, heavy news. The heavy message, heavy news. Guarding angels protecting you. Okay. Could be a soulmate. Okay, a soulmate could be giving you some kind of truth. Oh. You got one of these two. The divine. So you may have already heard the message from the divine, the truth of the divine, but somebody is coming forward like a physical being, okay? Crane. You will soon enter into a beneficial partnership, luck, and longevity. Bless this union. So it could be some other relationship as well. One, two, three, four. Time to reap your rewards of all your hard work. Might be the time to manifest from a twin flame reunion, pregnancy, career, success, or right track. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio, number 10. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, and namaste.